All right, good morning. All right, hope you guys are having an awesome day. Going to talk about why you are where you are in life and if you're in network marketing, exactly how you can use that in the closing process to get more people started with you. So appreciate you guys tuning in. As you pop on in the comments below, let me know where you are tuning in from. Put your city, country in there, city, state, country. And listen, if you like what I have to say, hit that like button. If you love it, hit the love button, hit the heart button. If you really love it, hit the share button. Give some value to some other people. And if you have someone in mind that you think might be able to benefit from what I'm talking about here, you can actually tag them in the comments below. So let's talk about this. Why are you where you are in life? And here's what I learned many years ago is where you are in your life is solely based on the decisions or lack of decisions that you made two to three years ago. And listen, where you're going to be two to three years from now is solely based on the decisions or lack of decisions that you make today. So as an example, three years ago, from a fitness standpoint, you guys notice I typically do these when I get out of the gym, I've got an extra five, 10 minutes, might as well hop on here and share with you guys. So about three years ago, I was uh, fairly out of shape. I mean, I was working out in the gym, but I wasn't eating all that well and I wasn't as intense. I you know, didn't have a trainer. I wasn't in the gym five days a week. I was in the gym maybe two or three days a week. So I was okay, but definitely nothing remarkable at all. And so I just, I made a decision. I said two to three years from now, I'm gonna look very different than I look today. And I do, I look very different. Um, you know, you look at my pictures, go back on my timeline three years ago, hop over to Facebook or Instagram and uh, look, at, look at three years ago, look at 10 years ago and I uh, definitely look much better. But it took some time. It took, I would say, uh, you know, it took a year, two years, three years. And um, if I really wanna be remarkable, you don't, uh, you know, do that overnight. So my goal, I'll be public with you guys, is my goal is over the next two to three years to be amazingly remarkable, to be in much better shape than I am today. Even though I've made big progress, for me, it's a long-term game. See, in network marketing, it's been a long-term game. I'm not looking at just the next six months. I am for my goals. Obviously, you gotta have short-term goals. Your short-term goals get you to your long-term goals, but if you're getting in network marketing and you wanna be a millionaire, that's probably not gonna happen here in the next six months. It's gonna take some time. And some of you are like, man, I would love to be a legendary figure. I'd love to make millions of dollars. I'd love to help other people make millions of dollars. But the reality is that is going to take you some time. And so you gotta be, uh, you know, you really have to have that long-term mentality. It's a marathon, not just a sprint. The consistency is more important than the intensity. And so listen, you mix the intensity. Today, I was super intense, man. I left it all in there. Almost threw up a couple times, right? So I'm gonna throw in some um, intensity, but what's way more important is the consistency doing it long-term. Now, how do you use that in closing? Now, I'm gonna tell you my philosophy on closing. And listen, I have been through all the sales training in the world. I used to do in-home sales and we were taught you either close the sale, get a no, or you get kicked out. They kick you out of your home. I mean, you got to be freaking relentless. And so I know how to use all the high pressure tactics in the world. I know how to overcome. I can give you 10 different ways to overcome. I got to think about it. 12 ways to overcome, I don't have the money. Eight ways to overcome, I gotta talk to my spouse. I mean, I've got all the closing down. I know how to apply the pressure. I know how to lock people in and close them. But I'm gonna give you a, a new philosophy. See, what I used to do is I used to be a great closer and I would close people and I noticed in network marketing, if you have to sell someone to get in, you gotta sell them to do anything. And so I would hard close people to get in. They'd have buyer's remorse, they'd refund or they'd never do anything and it just didn't work out. And so I changed my philosophy and it was very simple. In fact, I did this. You might uh, want to apply this philosophy. I got just a big sheet of paper and in a big bold marker, I wrote help people, just help people. And so I think that that has been how my closing has, trans uh, has transitioned. If someone doesn't want to be involved with me, I'm gonna let them go. I'm happy, more than happy to let them go because again, if you gotta sell them to do something, you gotta sell them to, uh, if you gotta sell them to get in, you gotta sell them to do anything. And so 
Um, you can definitely, there's the old saying that you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. <laughs> Listen, my closing training was, that's not true. You can lead a horse to water and you can make him drink. Even if he's not thirsty, you throw salt in their mouth and then they're going to drink. So listen, there are all kinds of ways that you can high pressure people. And so here's where I transitioned to, and this is where my life got a lot easier and I started attracting uh, more of the right people. And the closing process was very simple, help people. And I've got a three-step, um, you know, overcoming objections. If someone doesn't have the money, I'm gonna ver validate the objection. Is it true? I mean, be honest with me. Is it true that you don't have the money or is that just a polite way of saying no? Because listen, man, I'm cool either way. I just wanna help you. Notice that? I just wanna help you. And so I get them to say, no, man, I wanna do it. I just don't have the money. Are you sure? Yes. Well, do you want to do this? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. So they've effectively sold me that they want to do whatever the opportunity is. And so now, now what I'll do is I'll be a coach. See, a coach is designed, if you look at the word coach, you know, it used to be a horse drawn buggy was a coach and a coach takes someone from where they are to where they want to be. And so that's our job as a coach is to take someone from where they are to where they want to be. And so that's the key to where they want to be, not where you want them to be. Okay. So I want to make sure they want to be here. If they want financial freedom, if they want more time freedom, if they want to pay off their debt, if they want to do big things in life, if they want to help other people, if they want to travel around the world, if they want to make an impact in the world, if they want to become immortal and leave a legacy of success long after they're gone, that's something I'm going to help them with. And so then I'm going to let them know. I'm going to use what I told you at the beginning of the session here. I'm going to use that. I'm going to say, listen, Eric, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think what's really true is where we are in life is solely based on the decisions that we made two and three years ago. Where we're going to be two and three years from now is based on the decisions or lack of decisions that we make today. And so if you truly want what you just said you wanted, if you want to be in a different place, here to here, um, it's important that you make a decision now that is going to help get you there. And so, um, I, listen, the reality is if I had a Ferrari to sell you for $1,000, would you buy it? You'd come up with the money. What if I said you had to have the money tonight? You'd find the $1,000 because you know you could sell the Ferrari for 150 grand tomorrow. So we know you can come up with the money. It's just a matter of motivation. I think you're powerful enough to come up with the money in the next 24 hours. Am I right? Notice that. Listen to my words. I think you're powerful enough to come up with the money in the next 24 hours. Am I right? And then let them answer. If they say no, first sign that they may, that may not be the kind of person that you want to work with. Okay. I'm giving you some good stuff here. Definitely going to help you in the closing process. So realize this in the closing process, many people have a salesperson's mentality wrong mentality to have. I mean, obviously use your sales training, use your closing techniques, use your rapport building, you know, use all that. But the philosophy that I want you to have is not that you're a salesperson, not that you need to close the sale, not that you're needy, not that you need to hit the next rank. It's all about helping the person. And here's the philosophy is you are the president and CEO of your own multi-million dollar organization. That's how I look at it. I've got a billion dollar organization. And so I'm not looking for low level people. If someone is going to hold on to their objection of I don't have the time or uh, I don't have the money to get started, that's probably not the leader that I'm looking for to take my billion dollar organization to the next level. You with me? And so when you get into the needy, no, needy mode, which is the salesperson closing mode, then you're less likely to be very effective. You don't have a lot of posture. And listen, your prospect can smell neediness like a dog smells fear. You gotta have the posture. Again, you're looking for, if you're the CEO of a billion dollar organization, you're not looking for low level people. You're looking for leaders because there's two types of math, follower math and leader math. Follower math is addition. Addition is slow. Oh, addition is painful. Leader math is multiplication. Multiplication is fun. It's fast. Okay. That's what we're looking for. And so a CEO is not going to be interviewing for low level people. He's going to be interviewing for vice presidents, for presidents, for upper level people. That's what you're looking for. Upper level people. And if people want to hold on to their lack and their scarcity and their objections, let them hold on 
to those objections. I know you want to help them. You want to help them more than they want to help themselves. You want to turn a chicken into an eagle. I'm telling you, I've learned this the hard way. The way to succeed, the way to get to the top is not to convert a chicken to an eagle. It's to sort through the chickens as fast as you possibly can so you can go find the eagles. The eagles are out there, but you got to sort through a lot of chickens. So listen, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you for all the comments. If you tuned in a little late, let me know in the comments where you're tuning in from. And if you feel like this can add some value to some others, pop that share button in the comments. Let me know if you shared it so I can give you a thank you. And you can uh, always tag someone in the comments here if you feel like anyone specific can get some value out of this. You can always hop over to mattmorris.com, put your name and email address in, you'll get my free videos delivered to your inbox every single week. And you can access my YouTube channel on the website with over 300 free training videos for you. Hope you guys have an amazing day, an amazing night, depending on where you are in the world. Thanks so much for tuning in. Go make life an adventure.